That's a rare full moon for a Halloween night. Doesn't happen that often. I wonder, should I do a live? Should I do another live show? or How many of you guys uh, watching my channel seen uh, Tucker and Sammy's uh, live show yesterday? And they did a Halloween show today. They made like a little movie. It was pretty cool. I mean, you know, it was cheesy, but it was it was fun. I thought it was anyway. The airplane flying. Right past the moon, kind of like the flying witch, right? Yeah, authentic seeming clouds sort of passing through the moon. In front of it, rather. Now, I was going to make a video today at the compound, but I just didn't get around to it. I'm kind of mad at myself. There was a a guy in the neighborhood saving this uh, antique lawn tractor for me, and he had it all covered up. It was in mint condition. It was like uh, probably like from it was a Montgomery Wards, I believe. You know, 22 horsepower. I had like a bad valve or something. I don't know. It ran. But it didn't have any power. And uh, he was saving it for two months. And I am um, kicking myself. And he put it out in the street yesterday. And it was gone in an hour. <clears throat> All alone. <laughs> Halloween evening. Sun's out at, uh, I don't know, at the bar. There's a Halloween party. And my other daughter lives with her boyfriend. And my youngest daughter is, I don't know, at a Halloween party of some kind. Trick or treating, I guess. There really weren't any. Tr I was out here for hours and there was like no trick or treaters. I don't know, and the wife just got off of work, and I don't know, she's going by the in-law's house. So I'm just, um, making one final bid for, uh, October, and not saying much, other than, should I do a live video? I actually feel like I should go driving around by the curbside. Also, when I was at the compound, I started looking around at all that stuff that I'm saving. I don't know. I started piling it up. All those folding chairs and some of those bicycles. and I was putting it all on a scrap pile, you know. Uh, this coming week, it's supposed to be in the mid to upper 60s Fahrenheit. So, that's kind of rare I guess we're having an Indian summer which usually lasts for about a week or so and that's exactly what it's going to last for about a week and then well, look at the, the moon went be, behind the clouds there and tomorrow is supposed to be really windy but I have like about two tons of aluminum I really don't have that much extension cord wire I got like maybe a quarter of a barrel of it like I picked up just about all of it that I had like scattered all over the ground yeah, and uh, got the the white pickup truck is filled with uh, scraps so I either gotta make a move on that or not because with each passing day, you know, like, like the owner of that property, he's pretty old. And, uh, 
I don't know, his his kids, so to speak. They're they're old. I mean, his kids are old. They're like in their sixties. And if he passes away, I don't think the kids want it. I think they just want the money from the sale of the property. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. The, the owner is in pretty good health, though. So, I don't know. It's anyone's guess how long he might live. He might be around for a couple of more years or, you know. When you get up, when you get way up there in years, you know, there's the moon again. You get sick, you know, it's kaput, or you could pass away in your sleep, and you know, the day before everything was fine. So, all I really want to do is get my house paid off. You know, through the scraps and using the compound. Once, once that happens, I'm going to start selling off my cars one at a time. I'm going to start fixing them up. That's the plan. Fixing up, going through, you know, like <clears throat> what ones I don't want to keep, what ones I do want to keep. And, uh... At the same time, I want to go through this house and my two garages and start whittling down, like, the stuff that I have. But, yeah, all I need to do is have this compound just long enough to get the house paid for. And then, uh, once that happens, I'm going to work on, uh, I'm going to work on shutting down, like... That's the plan. I'm gonna work on uh, whittling, whittling everything down until I have almost nothing. That's the goal. I wanna, I wanna sell this house. I'm gonna move somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe not far. Maybe far. But I want a, I want a little house. Uh, my dream house, all right, me and my wife get into contentious arguments about this, but my dream house, okay, is a house with no bedrooms, okay, one large living room, one really large bathroom, and a large kitchen, okay, because the way the, the, way the real estate taxes work, here in Illinois anyway, is they count the bathrooms you have. Okay, so the more bathrooms you have, the higher the taxes are. And the more bedrooms you have, the higher the taxes are. Okay, and the more concrete you have covering your property, the higher the taxes are. So if I could make a house with the minimal amount of square feet allowed, because I think there's a, there is a minimum, like a house can only be so small, and it, that's straight up for tax reasons, because they want to be able to get something out of you. They don't want you to... <laughs> they don't want you to park a camper on the property and call that home. But... <clears throat> I get into arguments with the wife. She's like, we need... We need at least two bedrooms. I'm like, why do we need two bedrooms? If it's just going to be me and you, we don't need two bedrooms. We don't need, the more bedrooms you have, the higher the taxes. And the more rooms you have in a house, the more cleaning you have to do. There's more surface area to clean. Okay, what's easier to keep clean? A huge RV or a public bus or, or a little smart car or a Toyota Prius? What What is easier to wash and clean. Well, obviously, it would be the Prius, right? You can get a bucket of water and a rag, and you can wipe that thing down in, like, less than 10 minutes. But uh, a public transit bus or, you know, a huge RV, <laughs> it'd take a couple hours to do that by hand, right? 
So that's the same theory I have with like, like my house has got four bedrooms. I don't need a house with four bedrooms. What do I need a house with four bedrooms for? But first of all, I don't have any credit. So I can't sell the house like right now anyway. Cause yeah. So th this is all dreams for the future. <clears throat> Maybe if we were able to save some cash and stuff like that, we could go find a... Because I don't want to just move from this place and then run to the next place and then, you know, find I have neighbors that aren't going to get along or I'm not going to get along with them, vice versa or whatever. I want my own place where I could look out the window and not see another window to another house. Like, look out the backyard... And there's no, I don't know. I don't like the fact that there's like houses right across the street. No, I, no, I don't want to move all the way out in the country. Okay. <clears throat> but there has to be something not too far away from where I'm at where there's enough space where I could... I could be a scrapper because you can't take the stuff home here. You can't, you cannot scrap from this house. That's getting me off on another tangent. I just want to, oh, I, I also want a house with a basement. My, my house doesn't have a basement. It's got like a, it's got a crawl space, which is actually like a, it's actually like a utility space so you could, get to the utilities of the house you know it's like go under and it's where the cable wire is and all that other stuff some of the plumbing and the electrical features to the house and all that the furnace the water heater but uh yeah The king just wants to have the compound long enough to get the house paid for. After that, it could all go to hell. I don't care. I don't need it anymore. I just want to uh, fix up the cars that I got. Sell them off one at a time after they're fixed up. <clears throat> That's the idea. No, Nobody watching this channel agrees with it. So you're wasting your time arguing with me. Why don't you just scrap them? Okay, it's not happening. Okay. But, uh, yeah, when I'm done, I'm going to, like, wind down the scrapping a little bit, and I'm going to start concentrating on working on the cars at a certain point. That's that's the goal here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I had, a, I had a dog cage for sale. Yeah, it's still on the porch. No, nobody came by for it. So it's, this reselling thing is... Uh, it's a gigantic waste of time. Somebody else has to do it. It's it's not for it's not for me. It's cost me about twenty five hundred. No, it cost me about three thousand dollars so far in productivity, trying to sell a few piddly things that I've made like piddly amounts of money on here and there. It's cost me about three grand and as I knew it would okay but I I you know I finally um caved in to you know my subscribers constantly going oh you should sell that you could sell that you could say okay all right all right all right all right you know after four years of being on YouTube all right all right all right you know so I, you know, I've had a couple of, like, hits, like, you know, like that fireplace. Probably sold it, could have sold it for more, you know. But then I could have probably been, like, still fumbling with it. But let me tell you, I've got some Christmas decorations that I tried to sell. Nobody bought them. I got another dog cage. Nobody bought it. Got, like, a couple inquiries. Had, like, almost 20 things listed all at once, I had to take them all down because I wasn't getting any nibbles. Uh, my my listings, 
I don't have that tag on there anymore, but when I had 20 things listed, it said super seller. I'm like, what's this, super seller? I haven't, I haven't been selling things for any length of time, but apparently you get like a little, you get like a little tag on your thing that you're trying to sell, and it says super seller. So I'm thinking, when I see that, I'm like, oh, that seems like that might be code word for, uh, yeah, well, I don't know. People that have been doing this for a while, a lot longer than me, know a lot more about it than I do. Will I still try to keep selling things? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing it, but, like, that white thing right there, I'm saving that, that's a refrigerator, and according to the people that gave it to me, it works perfectly fine. So, will I give it a chance? Yeah, I'll give it a chance before I scrap it. I'll list it. I don't know what I should list it for. Maybe $20? Is $20 worth sitting in your truck waiting for somebody to come by? No, it isn't. Because I could scrap that probably for 5 bucks. Okay? And move on. Okay? Instead of sitting around doing nothing. Waiting for the $20 to come to me. Does that make sense to anybody watching this video or no? I could go and scrap that for five bucks right now. Well, not really right now. The scrapyard is closed. Or I could wait around for like half a day, a whole day, or whatever for 20 bucks. I know people say, tell them to put the money under the mat in front of the house, you know, on the porch. Oh, okay, I've done that. That works. I've. See, I've sold maybe about three things that way. But oh, I noticed a lot of people are like, could we, could we meet somewhere? And if you're, if you're listing in selling groups, okay, you have to abide by their rules. And a lot of these selling groups on Marketplace um, insist that you be open to the idea of meeting in a mutual place. Well, you know what, for me, that's fantastically time-wasteful. And on second of all, I actually need to have the minivan running or something, because you know what, when people see a scrapping truck, okay, and the guy's got something for sale, you know what, your potential buyer is a no-show, okay? Uh, it's already happened to me about three or four times. They're, they see, they, they judge you, okay? You get profiled. Who wants to buy something from a scrapper? And a lot of these uh, selling groups also have like a little bylaw that says, you shall not list anything. Well, yeah, it says it pretty much in that, those words. You shall not list anything uh, on, our, on our group that you got for free. <laughs> Nah, I don't know what the reason for the rule that is. I guess they don't want people creating a business on there. So I have no idea. Uh, you know. But yeah, a lot of them have that rule. So people automatically assume, you know, you're a scrapper. You found it for free and you're selling some piece of garbage. So you get profiled. Selling things out of the back of your scrap truck. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the, the minivan would be kind of perfect incognito because it just looks like any other vehicle. They have no idea that you scrap. But, all right, everybody, I think that's a waste of time for me, though, to sit around and wait for that $20 to come or it might not come. Meanwhile, I could be cleaning the house, I could be fixing my car, I could be scrapping at the curbside, I could be at the compound doing something. Okay. I don't think anybody agrees with me, but this has been my experience I'm sharing with you so far. Yeah, Moon is like really tucked away there. It's supposed to only supposed to get down to 24 degrees tomorrow night and then after that the temps are supposed to get up to almost 70 degrees
for like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and possibly Saturday. And like next Sunday is supposed to be cloudy, overcast in 65, maybe 70. And the next Monday it's supposed to rain. So. Ooh. I haven't seen any trick-or-treaters, and I've been uh, making this video for, like, over 20 minutes. Have you seen anybody go by? Nope. I don't see no trick-or-treaters. This is the year of everything being canceled. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Does anybody want me to do a live or no? Let me know in the comment section. Does anybody want me to do a live? Bye-bye.